So, we got quarantine. Jenna, yes. <laughs> what's happening? Um, we're gonna make some quarantine scrambled eggs in the microwave. Quarantine scrambled eggs in the microwave. Using MRE salt and pepper. So, we got quarantine. We were supposedly uh, at an affected area or a hotspot area as they call it. Uh, same time as a person who tested positive. So we were told by public health to stay in our room and since we're married, we're obviously spending all of our time together. <laughs> we uh, were told that we can quarantine together. And so here we are stuck in my dorm trying to, I don't wanna say make ends meet because it sounds like we're going through bankruptcy or something, <laughs> but a uh, different mindset in thinking about where are we gonna eat, what are we gonna eat, when are we gonna eat, how are we working out, maintaining some sort of health and not going crazy and trying to be productive. Cause I can't sit here and just do nothing. So eventually I'm gonna end up having to do something productive. I can just sleep, I like to sleep. <laughs> so, no, I like to do other things too, I'm joking. I'm, I'm not opposed to a good nap, but uh, here we are. So we are going to document this process of being quarantined and everything that uh, we're encountering and maybe it can help you guys out and we're just gonna share and document our process all along the way. And that is how you make quarantine. Quarantine scrambled eggs. In the microwave. Look how pretty those are. They're actually not bad. They look like real scrambled eggs. I mean they are, but you know. All right, so we're gonna have the taste test of the eggs, which they look really good. He's gonna try it without cheese, and then he's gonna put... <sighs> the um, cheese spread with jalapenos. So for all of my military folks out there, actually, I'll be right back. Okay, so with all the procedures we have to follow, one of the things is we had someone drop us off MREs. So in theory, they're clean, they can come and drop stuff off to us, so long as we're not having any contact with them, coffee on them, etc. So here we go, uh, they dropped off a bunch of MREs for us, and for all my military folks out there, if you know about the cheese spread, you know a golden ticket item, item to have is the cheese spread with jalapenos. So we are going to take this cheese spread with our quarantine made scrambled eggs. So uh, Jenna Lee took two eggs and just basically added some salt from the MRE packet, whipped them up, put them in the microwave for about a what, minute and a half maybe? It was 45 seconds, stirred them, and then another 45 seconds. Um, I also added milk to them too. And milk, Can't right. Forget that. So we're over here rationing off milk cartons that we had um, <laughs> using salt from MRE packets. This is actually how we're gonna have to live for the next 14 days. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of an interesting concept. So we're literally taking stuff that we've had before and kind of pulling it together to make food and lunches for the day. But it looks good. It looks like, you can see it, scrambled eggs, yeah. There we go. Like, look at that fluff. <laughs> yeah, they actually don't look bad at all. Good? I mean, it's good. <laughs> much much better than the than, than facility. <laughs> Well, that's because they're... But I mean, yeah. All right, I don't know how much you want to put in there, so I'm gonna take a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah, try it before I... I'm not gonna put a lot. Mm. I mean, you know, they're two beaten eggs, that's really... A little bit salty, but... Yeah. I normally use pepper too, we just don't have any. So here we are, we're just gonna put some of this cheese spread with jalapenos in there, just to give it a little bit of a bite. <laughs> I don't enjoy this cheese spread. I can smell the jalapeno. <laughs> yeah, there's actually quite a bit of jalapenos in there. It's not bad, it's a nice little addition. So the other thing is we we're lucky enough and smart enough to get to-go containers. So there's another rule they have here at the dining facility where if you're not in uniform, you can't take food items to go, so you have to get to-go containers. So you can go in there, grab your food. Once you grab your food, you gotta go whenever you go to like the sit-down dining area. You actually gotta take your food, put it in a to-go container. Again, if you're not in uniform, so uh, we have these just left over, so we're going to use this and basically we're going to have to do the dishes here in a sink, dry them off somewhere. And I'm weird, I put them in the fridge. Yeah. Because I'm have. i running out of room. I literally don't have room. I don't have like a drying rack. Oh, you can actually see the jalapenos. I was like, oh, what yeah. is that in there? Yeah, you can see the jalapenos. So this is our first meal, or my first meal of the day. She has cereal. Hope you guys enjoyed this.
Hey, what's up guys? So now this part of our first day or second day of being quarantined, we are going to do this workout here because remember, our discipline does not stop just because we're quarantined. We are still going to push through. Remember to stay disciplined throughout this whole thing. I know it's gonna be rough. We've already felt it with uh, the one or two days we've been quarantined here, okay? We are rummaging through MREs and everything, trying to figure out how we're gonna plan our meals. Um, now the DFAC is running out of food, so it's just all sorts of things that you wouldn't normally expect until those things happen. Keep your head up, stay disciplined, and do not skimp out on the workout. So here, we're gonna be doing this right here. I'm just gonna read this off real quick. For time, we're gonna do five rounds, 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups, 20 squats, 20 flutter kicks by the four count, and 20 jumping squats. And to warm up, I've just been instructed that uh, we're going to be doing uh, 10 jumping jacks. Then, uh, after that set, and then we'll go into a one minute plank, rest for a few seconds, then a one minute run in place, rest for a few seconds, and then one minute of high knees. Here we are playing Super Nintendo. <laughs> you just jumped into it, didn't it's you? The same thing. You just jumped into it. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are, quarantine day one. Uh, we're playing Super Nintendo. What was this? Super Mario's World or Yoshi? Yeah, Super, Super Mario's World. Yoshi. No, Super Mario. It's Super Mario's World. <laughs> Super something. <laughs> Quarantine day one. The first day after we thought we were gonna get released. Mm -hmm. Then it turns out we were at a hot spot. Six more days. <laughs> Six more days, and so here we are. So what do we do today? We woke up. We woke up, we, well I laid in bed a lot because there's only so many places you can right. sit in here so I just <laughs> kinda stayed in the bed. He edited videos. We had we, breakfast. We had breakfast, I made breakfast in the microwave. We had lunch, which um, consisted of MREs. <laughs> we had someone drop off a box of MREs. We yeah. rummaged through them. We separated all the snacks, the stuff we wanted to throw out, the stuff we wanted to keep. Mm -hmm. uh, side entrees, the main entrees. I took a nap and then- We budgeted. We did, we budgeted and- Sorted out our finances. Updated our debts. Yep, because I think it's important as a couple, you should have good communication and good communication with your finances. Mm -hmm. So we wrote down both of our debts and our bills for the month and where all of our money gets allocated. We did an awesome workout that ended up being yes. like 37 minutes. 
Yeah, it was actually much longer than I thought it was going to be. It was a pretty long one, but it was good. <clears throat> I was sweating, he was sweating. We obviously showered. Shower we are video. showering while in quarantine. And then we played some Super Mario World on... On the Super Nintendo. Yeah. So if you guys remember those mini consoles they came out, I think there's, uh, there's another, not a Super Nintendo, I think it was an NES, but... We were playing Super Mario World on that. So I think we had some fun playing that. We had uh, just played some other video games too. Yeah, I was having some trouble with my Xbox and I set it up and then I started a stream and the stream didn't go so well. Trying to play Fortnite again was just rough. Mm -hmm. uh, very, it was, it was a kick to the gut. I was yeah. very upset. So you organized too. I like... organized a lot. I rearranged stuff. I mm -hmm. uh, did a lot of cleaning. Oh, we started a movie night last oh, night yeah. and then we finished it today. And then tonight, you don't know it yet, but I'm gonna say it now. I wanna start the 007 series on Netflix. We'll see. It's almost <laughs> midnight. Yeah, you're not wrong. But then we wrote, wrote, the, uh, wrote down and talked about some goals and stuff we want to do tomorrow. So she's not wrong in thinking this, but she's like, we should go to bed so that we can keep our discipline for, you know, going to bed at a decent time, waking up at the same time. Because that's what they say. They say when people are like, uh, you know, when it comes to the weekend, they're like, oh, I get, you know, I, I get off my schedule and stuff like that. They say you should actually still wake up early on the weekends. We actually woke up fairly early today and we went to bed around eight. this time last night too. Yeah, but... we went to bed at like one, woke up at eight. Which is always different waking yeah. up early on the weekend when you know you have nothing to do or like when it's your own stuff you got to do. We, I FaceTime my dad, my grandma, my grandpa, yeah. and my mom, and you FaceTime, FaceTime your family. family. We made a little snacky snack while we were playing Super Mario World. You ate some beans and rice earlier. Or yeah, too. I had a <laughs> beans and rice MRE. We opened up a couple peanuts and uh, trail mix MREs and we had a little plate of and basically pretzels, pretzels and yeah. nuts. And uh these teriyaki like beef sticks oh, that also yeah. come in the MREs, which have an odd taste, but they they're not horrible. Taste. Yeah. So uh, I'd say quarantine day one was a success. Yeah. Well, we got interviewed by public health. Yes. Over the phone. We were told that we were quarantined for 14 days. We were um, basically pre-screened on the phone because they track the person where they went and at what times and we happen to fall in line with, you know, some of those places and times. Very interesting. We actually had to thoroughly think out a process of how are we going to get food? When are we going to eat? How will, how much will this last us? Can we last two weeks with this? You, <laughs> you, you said today, you said, um, you're like, oh my gosh, I may run out of shampoo. What, what do you do when you run out yeah. of shampoo? You literally cannot leave your dorm. They're issuing Article 92s, which I will have to look that up and I'll probably place some text somewhere here explaining what an Article 92 is. Hey, what's up guys? So like I mentioned in the video, I was gonna look up what an Article 92 is. So it says here that an Article 92 is failure to obey order or regulation. So an Article 92 deals with the failure to follow orders or regulation in violation of orders and or regulation. Different situations are covered under Article 92 as follows. Violating a general order or regulation, violating other written regulation or order, or failure to obey lawful order and dereliction of duty. So it goes on to say here that there are several variations of the charge of an Article 92 uh, for the violation under the UCMJ. That's the Uniform Code of Military Justice, if you don't know. Those people who are in the military have to abide by a second set of laws. Maximum punishment for this. Uh, those accused can face dishonorable discharge, forfeiture of all allowances and pay, and two years confinement as a maximum punishment. Now just because that says what the maximum punishment is, you may not actually get that. Something like this may end up in something like what's called an NJP or a non-judicial punishment. So I can't say for sure, I'm not a lawyer, I can't give legal advice, but from what I've heard and the things that I've experienced or heard of or saw uh, in the military is that some people, they'll get an article, like an Article 15 is a very common one to get. However, people don't necessarily always go to court over an Article 15. You may get one and it just becomes something that is like a corrective action or something like that. So those three acts I mentioned before in the Article 92 where you can get punished by, that first one being violating general order or regulation, uh, something that the accused was duty bound to obey and then didn't. Uh, the maximum punishment for that would be accused faces dishonorable discharge, a forfeiture of all allowances and pay, and two years confinement as maximum punishment. Now obviously that's a maximum punishment, that doesn't mean you will get that if you get an Article 92. I don't know how all of that works, I'm not a lawyer, don't take this as legal advice or how like, oh, you know, David Caparino said this, so that's how it is if you get that. It's totally up to them on what they want to decide. No matter the article, I don't want one. Right, but exactly. literally, you cannot leave that door. <laughs> Everyone is, unless if you are, what is it, mission essential, mm -hmm. if you, you know, weren't affected by any of those areas and you're basically going to work and whatnot, uh, you can't leave your dorm. Literally, we are using our cell phones to contact uh, our flight and leadership, like, mm -hmm. 
hey, it's lunchtime, we're hungry. Who's gonna come pick <laughs> us up lunch? I mean, quite literally, that's what we're gonna end up doing after we run out of these MREs. Mm -hmm. People who are not quarantined can drop stuff off to us, but if you're not like leadership dropping food or water or whatever off to, to the people who are quarantined, you are only allowed to go to and from work, to and from the DFAC, and just stay in your dorm room. You're not supposed to be outside of your dorm room. You're not supposed to be outside in front of the dorm. I'm assuming you can't even like go out to smoke. I don't know, but from what I heard... Basically sounds like it. Yeah, the security forces, if they see anybody outside, they are stopping them and asking them what they're doing, where they're going, and if you are not going to or from work, to or from the DFAC, um, or to your dorm, you are getting in trouble, so... So, Getting crazy here. Yeah, we're staying in our dorm. Mm. That's for sure. Oh, we also had uh, noodles today, too. Yeah, we made I had a ramen. ramen. Yeah, yeah, he had pho. Um, <clears throat> Which was actually pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of pho. Mm -hmm. I did not enjoy the smell of it. He gave me a yeah. kiss after he ate it, and I was like, nope, uh-uh, get this off my lips. <laughs> in any case, guys, we're going to wind down our night. Quarantine day one in the books. So in any case, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't taken the time out to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that now. Check the links in the description down below for some awesome stuff. And check out her channel as well on all of her social media. I will be posting more content, but right now I'm focused on studying for staff because I would like to make it this year, so. And we got a lot of prime yeah. time to be studying. Yes. Trying to be productive. This is a huge moment that I think defines a lot of people. When you get all this free time, what are you doing with it? All right, well, hey, thank you guys for watching again. Greatly appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.